sauce bordelaise with red wine of Bordeaux or other region, but a strong red wine. Hello, I'm Chef Vivienne, French Chef. Today we will do the famous sauce Bordelaise. For this you need few ingredients, red wine, shallot, some bay leaves, black peppercorn, and some brown veal stock, in this case homemade. So what we're gonna do, so this kind of sauce is a very famous sauce. It's a, one of the best sauce for meat like a big steak, ribeye or a strip loin. We need to make reduction. First, we need just to sizzle some shallot. So this way and then this way and then this way. And you have a very, very little piece. Of course, you need a sharp knife and a fine knife. Sharp and fine. So this go in the pan. Voila, we will do a recipe for around eight portions. So usually you need to count with shallot, you need to count around five grams per person. So it's 40 grams of shallot, which is usually too big or four little ones. And here we need to add some poivre mignonette, so it's black peppercorn, like in sauce Bernese that we will crush with the ass of the pan. This way. And this is called mignonette, and this goes here in the pan. All of this is without fire. Two nice bay leaves or four little ones. Time. Red wine. So in France we use only red dry wine and we don't have a red semi-sweet wine or red uh, sweet wine. When we say red wine or white wine in kitchen in French it's dry. So this we will reduce, we bring to boil. We boil and we slow down the fire and we reduce till this moment that we will have a consistent like quite like syrup. We have 200 milliliters, let's say, and we will reduce till around 80 milliliters, or one third. Reduction is done. So you have the volume more or less of shallots and pepper and bay leaves of wine. So now we can put the liquid, which is homemade veal stock. Now you can use a mix of water and demi-glace sauce, or you can look for a nice veal stock. I filter it because I add at the moment some piece of mushrooms. This is full of, it's made with from bones, from veal, from bones. So it's full of collagen. It's really interesting for grilled meat, red meat. Now we bring to boil once again and we will reduce gently, gently, low fire, half an hour minimum. Once it's boiling, I slow down the fire at the minimum because as longer as better for me in this case. It will take around half an hour, one hour to reduce, 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 concentrate the taste of every main products. It smells very good. One hour later. Our sauce has reduced one third, stay only one third. So it's very nice now. But as you can see, it's not thick. It's not thick enough because it's homemade veal stock. So if you have the same situation, I will show you how to thick it with cornstarch and water. First, we need to filter our sauce because inside it's uh, bay leaves, it's shallot and so on. Uh, we filter. We can see it's nice sauce full of collagen, but not thick enough. 
Got a nice sauce. Hop. Ready. Napa, but not enough. So to make it thick and stable, we will put some corn starch, cold water. Voilà, we mix like this. And now we will, with a whisker, we will add a little bit of this in a boiling sauce. So you add little by little, you control texture with the spoon. All right, the art of sauce in France, it's in French kitchen, it's very important to know how to do a good sauce. Nice, shiny, with a long taste. Voilà. I should try a bit the taste. It's very nice, but not salty. So we add salt. We switch off the fire. And we will add butter, around five, seven gram per person and we whisk. This will make a shiny sauce. In French cuisine we quite every time add at the end of the sauce some butter. We call it monte au beurre to add butter and it's quite in all sauce that we do in French cuisine. Without butter no life in French cuisine. A very nice sauce, shiny texture of sauce. How to understand if it's a good sauce? It must be shiny, it must be thick enough, but not too much. It's not a, like this, huh? it must be elegant. Uh, let's put it for now in a sauce, in the saucière, in the, the dish for sauce. Very nice sauce. So today we will cook T-bone and ribeye in the chimney. I like to cook in chimney, like a prehistoric guy. So here we have the T-bone, it's done. We have relax. Oh, what a meat. Nice meat, this serves a good sauce. So a piece like this, so nice, what a meat. And now our sauce Bordelaise, very shiny. And bon appétit of course.